breeze blowing, storm clouds moving in. Whatever's gonna happen, it's about to begin. I remember what the drum doggy told me when he said, Son, don't fear. Mike's where the page lies, it's about to There's, we we got to do a counter on that. <laughs> That's our makeshift intro for today. Let me close it here so we don't get it repeat. Um, yeah, it's a cool song, man. I, I love country, and that was a surprise. Um, one of our big fans, Andy Simmons, wrote that. He also wrote the parody of uh, Johnny Cash, Out of the Blue. <laughs> it was cool. So all right, we'll, we'll play the cone again. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna do the same thing every week. But uh, I, I really appreciate that from uh, Andy for doing that. And uh, he wanted, wanted me to do a big shout out to his wife, Kim, and his daughter, Gracie. So you got a good man there, girls. Maybe he'll make it big one day and wear a drunk donkey shirt on the CMT stage. <laughs> all right, so hey, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, first and foremost, big thanks to all you fans. Uh, definitely was doing a little drunk donkey last night you know me when i get uh emotional on the post <laughs> we're in a little lull right now dorian wore us all out and uh we tracked that thing for forever um and we got more stuff cooking so thanks to abc fine wine of spirits for supporting our page our facebook live located here in florida good group of folks there at abc fine wine and uh, we might have more tropic stuff coming this weekend and maybe down the road again two things that are very interesting very interesting so let's take a look so what i do guys and girls if you're new to the page I, i'll go right into it uh, i'm just this is a i'm a blogger i officially worked on the web page i guess i'm a blogger that's my thing i'm a, I'm a blogger <laughs> and uh it's you know we we we're not official if you want official information definitely go to national hurricane center or your uh, National Weather Service sites, which I have always linked right here. So here's here's what's cooking. This is tropics in a nutshell. We're going to talk about 15 minutes. We got two things, three things actually. So the orange area is 60 percent. It's Invest 95. Big sloppy rainmaker right now, and uh, you know the models actually have it curving more than what the NHC is showing here. Interesting. That's why I included Texas. Yesterday, Euro had this thing going a little bit more into the Gulf. Uh, no circulation right now. That's a good thing. I, I looked at all the maps. I couldn't really see much organization right now, which is good. But it is, you know, peak of season. Anytime you get a big blob of clouds, we have to watch them close. And uh, timing will be the one thing this swarm doesn't have because we're talking about rains today through tomorrow and fr and. Um, uh, Friday for the Bahamas and then the rains are going to start inching in on Florida 
South Florida Friday night into Saturday morning. And then by Sunday, this thing might start to try to make landfall, whatever it becomes, Sunday into Monday. So it's not going to have a lot of time. If it goes below Florida, possible little more chance to spin up. That's why the NHC is watching it. Right now it's only 60%. No models are showing it under 1,000 millibars that I could see, which means borderline tropical storm. Uh, doesn't mean it won't spin up. You always keep your eye on them. Uh, the good thing is, like I said, it's moving kind of quick, and it won't have a lot of time. So we're going to digest that. The other area is this Invest 94. Uh, it's actually got spaghetti models right here. Well, let's look at all the spaghetti models. Let's take a look at uh, these are tropical tidbit spaghetti models on... Levi site. These are your latest uh, tropicaltidbits.com. There you go. Spaghetti models on Invest 95. NHC showing more of a circle out here. Interesting, but there you go. There's your latest spaghetti models. And then our other system is actually Invest 94. And it is expected to die, even though there's spaghetti models. So don't get worked up on these spaghetti models because it's expected to die right here. This little guy right here is expected to run into shear um, and actually dissipate. So it might bring some rain to the Lesser Antilles. The, the one that everybody's watching is the one behind it, which is number three, and that would be this guy. This is the one that we need to watch down the road. Everything's flowing around the big Bermuda High. This Invest 95 by the Bahamas is flowing. This guy's got that same pattern. The models are definitely picking up on. Uh, lots of sh oh, The Internet's full of shares right now. Uh, everybody's showing long-range models and scaring the bejesus out of everybody. I used to do that years ago. I've tried to mature and not post these type of images because they scare the heck out of people and uh, there are a lot of them being posted right now some of the models have landfall in the Florida and the Bahamas and uh, upper Gulf but man you know we're talking 10 days plus out timing for this guy is just over the islands here Monday Tuesday next week I just posted that this morning so next week it might be down here in this whole range of the Caribbean lower Atlantic so we got a whole week to watch this thing and honestly it hasn't even formed in anything yet it's still a blob it doesn't look very impressive um so we're get, you know we could be getting worked up over nothing hopefully it doesn't form but models are showing that it is going to form and uh, we're going to let me show you everything we can possibly see with this thing actually there's no floaters on it because it's um not even an invest yet the invest only happens once they uh designate them so you don't get spaghetti models on it yet no spaghetti model. You can barely even find out where it's at right now, actually. It's just a big blob of clouds. <laughs> um, so it's, it's, you know, it's going to take a lot of time to get going. But the models are your friend. We live and die by the models. And uh, the models are suggesting this is going to develop. And what's got me a little, little concerned is the consistency with the Euro. And uh, I'll show it to you. Um... You know, GFS has been all over the place, but GFS has been consistent on showing development. It's just one day it's out the curve, then it's Southern Caribbean, then it's, you know, through the heart of all islands. So that, but the fact is the GFS is showing it. Now the Euro is showing it. Let's look at all the models. This is, this is what we do. Hey, what's up? Nobody can predict landfall 10 days out. No, no. And I, like I said, I used to do that. I used to get all worked up and I'd post that one run and I, and I was guilty of it too. I was like, you know, you get worked up on one run and, and uh, post it. And reality, um, it's probably not very ethical. <laughs> okay, so yeah, Bermuda High, Jesse. Yeah, everything everything is following this large Bermuda High. And I don't know, fronts this time of year are rare. That's why September is such a busy month, because we don't really have a lot of breaknesses in that high pressure. When you get fronts come down, they help do the recurve. But if the Bermuda High is strong, which kind of appears it is going to be it is this far atlantic wave may take this path through the uh you know around it and then potentially landfall into the caribbean and who knows where else so all right here's what we got this is tropicaltidbits.com we love his site they're free i do have other paid sites i use but um 
we'll show you what the latest GFS does. This is this is everything in a nutshell. Three things we're watching. We're watching Invest 94 die. We're watching Invest 95 right here over the Bahamas, and then we'll see the far Atlantic wave reach the Caribbean next week. So, all right, here here's Invest 95. Starts to get a little organized. This is tomorrow. Kind of goes over to Keys Saturday morning right here. 10, 11 pressure. Nothing to worry about. Gets into the Gulf Saturday. Notice uh, Invest 94 down here really didn't do anything yet. Um, here's Sunday morning, 10, 11, 10, 09. So a slight, uh, slight organization in the Gulf. Not a lot of time. Sunday morning, hanging out right here, lower Louisiana, Mississippi. You know, into Monday. Kind of a slow mover, but um, that's one model. And then we'll watch here as this system goes upward. Here is our far Atlantic wave. This is next Monday. Exactly what we showed earlier on my Facebook post. But, you know, it starts to develop it. And this is this one run of many. This is what you'll see flying around the Internet. And it stalls it and then pulls it north right into Mike's backyard. <laughs> So I could post that and say that Mike's weather page has a major hurricane coming, but that's too far out. The, the thing that you got to start watching, though, is the consistency of these models and say, hey, we're in September. Could be another one. Hopefully not. But um, but again, let me show you how the GFS has been all over the place, just so you don't get worked up on one run. The overnight model run, the 00Z, had it basically stall out over the Bahamas and South Florida kind of this is last night's run okay timing on all this again let me rewind it this is the, this is what's consistent just past the lesser Antilles Sunday Monday this is Monday Tuesday next week definitely seems like whatever juice is out there is going to be over the lesser Antilles over the weekend Monday Tuesday just passed and then we'll have to see what kind of the mo what the models are showing so this is the 00z model Showed it kind of hanging out and then finally getting caught up in a front and whisking away. Just to show you how all these runs are different. And then we'll look at last night's 18Z model. This is last night's 6 p.m. run. GFS, look, recurve. So the same ones that are showing you a Tampa landfall probably aren't going to show you that there's a chance this thing could possibly recurve, uh, maybe hit, you know, lower Bahamas. But And then we'll look at one more run. We'll look at yesterday afternoon's 12Z run recurve yesterday's early morning run so can't get worked up the fact is we got something we're watching all right so let's look let's rewind we'll look at uh, the European model now the, the almighty euro and again weak low pressure here sliding up around Tampa this would be Saturday ish so we could have it slide over Tampa weak low pressure um, land interaction would, would limit any sort of development on the Euro path. Landfall, potentially the panhandle. This is Sunday afternoon. And then Monday goes up here. So, again, fast mover on the Gulf system and little time over the Gulf. So, my gut feeling on this little guy possibly could spin up into a tropical storm if they, you know, if, if, if it hangs out enough over here over the Gulf and gets more in the upper Gulf. Euro is saying this thing's going to slide over land. Very little time over water. Big rainmaker, yes. I showed the rain forecast for Alabama. We could have some pretty heavy pockets of rain. But, all right, there's that. Now watch what happens with our African disturbance here. As our system moves up next Sunday, here is the far Atlantic wave. Following the same high pressure, everything flows. Sometimes these systems get in a habit and they, they just follow the same flow. And that's kind of what we're seeing here. Starts to spin it up. This is the Euro next Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And that's as far out as it goes. Ten days out. So the thing I'm noticing with the Euro, I mean, anybody can do this. But, you know, I mean, I'm just, things I've learned over the years is when we start seeing consistency uh, as models, and, of course, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show it more. But the Euro has definitely been, steadily showing this motion look at that here's here's our little guy up here it's following the same path there is a front coming which could lead to a recurve 
but you know these fronts this time of year aren't that strong but it's hard to predict them so this is what we're watching you know it looks uh it looks interesting for sure another great thing to look at are your ensembles this is a cool one on uh the tropical tidbits it basically blends all the different ensembles together and gives you just a visual of where the center can be and if you look at the euro you know most of them are hovered right around here following that little south path if you look at the gfs ensembles kind of the same thing most of them hovered around here a couple of them up here so you know they get spread out so there's that um interesting right all right so let's see you guys are chatting about i'm sure oh, yeah i'm clickbaiting <laughs> let's let's post um th this would be clickbaiting let's let's uh let's go to weather nerds or weather oof i just had a moment of quietness I need coffee uh hey kim you know listen these things happen i mean th these systems um they they do this i mean this is this is you know unfortunately september is our peak peak time to worry about things so you know watching these models like a hawk and they're showing the consistency with uh, the reason I showed like this morning. This is what I've learned to do over the years. I like doing this. Um, I like to show timing of, of, of systems, not 10 days out. This one here is basically five, six days out. This is next uh, Monday, Tuesday. So this is very important. This to me shows that... Um, you know, good consistency. I like the CMC just kind of throw it in there with the Euro and the GFS. Uh, haven't even looked at the UK yet. We'll look at that. I'd almost bet that they're showing something here too. But, you know, Monday, Tuesday, right here. Look, Sunday, over the weekend, the Lesser Antilles are going to get some rain out of this guy. Uh, this is the NHC track. This is CMC, Euro, and G GFS. So next Monday, Tuesday, we're going to have a system here that, that models are going to be a little bit more smarter on. Every day that goes by, the models get closer with that 10 day window but this is next you know five six days from now right here so that's that's consistency um oh like i was going to say if i wanted to post a gloom and doom run we could go to the gfs and i can show what it would look like right over my uh, oh that's only 10 days out what's up with that huh well that's good doesn't go past 10 days Hmm. Only only uh, Levi's site does. I just learned something. Levi's site goes back goes out more than ten days, so we'll go to Levi's site. Here's the gloom and doom run on the GFS. GFS shows a stalling system right on my back door, right here. Boom. Okay. Now I'm gonna post that, and I'll get I'll get hate mail, get banned from Facebook. <laughs> one run of many so we're not even going to show that again all right let's take a look at the uk i wanted to see this all right so let's see what the uk is showing real quick because this is what i do i start just thinking out loud we've shown the consistency with um all the other three models and let's take a look at what the uk is showing because it's a pretty fairly decent uh model with hurricane prediction and there's doesn't go out that far either damn it this one only goes out five days. What's interesting though is it keeps uh, Invest 95 more along the east coast of Florida. Sunday right here, see that, Sunday? And then uh, actually tries to develop it right off the coast of Jacksonville. So for some reason, the UK has always trended more west than everybody else, now it's trending east. I think the UK, you, got, you Brits have become outlaws. <laughs> because the UK was showing west with Barry and west with Dorian, and now everybody's showing west with Invest 95 in the Gulf, and the UK is showing east. But this, you know, this is next Sunday. This is this weekend, so that the UK is only showing um, our our Bahama, Florida area that we're watching. But that's interesting. Low pressure going north. I'm afraid it's going to be a rainy weekend for Florida, no matter what. I hate to say it. Jamie, I wish you're right. I wish we could bet on that. Um, we can look at some spaghetti models. Let's take a look at uh, the European 
ensembles. Kind of give you a peek into the future here. We can go out seven days. So if you go out seven days, this is where our system, you know, this is our golf system. Euro's keeping it pretty weak. Still something to watch. Kind of a direct north northwest motion right up into the upper Gulf. The UK, like I just showed, ironically, is more East Coast Florida. The timing on the Gulf system, again, Sunday, Monday, it's going to be up here. So very little time over water. The only thing that would allow, I think, our Invest 95 to get going is if it goes into Florida Straits, it has a little more time over water. But right now, the models are showing it goes straight across Florida into the upper Gulf. Here's seven days out. And then as you go 10 days out, here's the European spread. European showing several going out to sea. Several of them staying south, possibly is something to watch. So, just too far away to know, right? All right, what else going on? Um, harp, yeah, I don't know about harp. <laughs> that's a that's a bingo word. Um, you know, some of the rain. Let's look at rain. Let's look at, you know, we got um, seven day rain map. We'll leave this up while we chit chat with everybody. There's your seven day rain map for our invest 95 this is not the far atlantic one um so yeah, yeah i'm i'm very curious I, I don't think the season's over by any means what's up bobby hurricane harbor harp april <laughs> october's gonna be bumpy too yeah we're, we're in this pattern i'm telling you um uh harper yeah yeah what's up all right so there's your rain let's see what else we can show with some, let's take a look. We can zoom in really quick here to our Bahama disturbance. Not so much circulation. Uh, There's just a big blob of clouds right now. Um, not really anything to stress about. You know, we look at wind maps. We can look at vorticity maps. You know, you look at your vorticity map. A little bit of weak signature, but it's very elongated, so it's not really structured. Um, 500 millibar, not really anything to stress about. Uh, windy map showing same thing, really not showing any sort of organization yet, like a low, low defined center of circulation. So that's good news. Uh, a little bit of mid-level spin over Cuba, but you know this is all tied to an old front. So. I don't see this thing organizing very quick. These things take time. Fortunately, it's got a lot of rain with it. And if you look again at our uh, rain map, we can get a zoomed in look here at uh, one satellite here. We can take a look at this. We'll just leave this up. See what you guys are talking about. There you go. Very disorganized. Blobby mess. <laughs> hey, Patrick. Yeah, we'll put the timer up. Uh, what's up, Lexi? Heart. Panhandle watching. Where was I in 2004? I was uh, boarding up. No, I was, I was scotch. No, I was um, masking taping the windows in Holiday, Florida. <laughs> I fell into that trap that everybody has to tape windows. And then I was a lazy teenager. Was I a teenager then? No, I was 21. Um, I didn't take the tape off until it was too late. So we had tape crap on the windows <laughs> uh what the hell um hey whitney yeah we got trouble from gust i i can see it it's just not not defined uh circ circular cir circulation yet um but all this mess is heading northwest eventually and unfortunately our bahama blob might be showing us the potential flow of our African wave that we're going to be watching next week. So, so that's that. Yeah, we did the tape chat. I know everybody does the tape. Hey, you can put your hurricane snacks, Jennifer. I, I still have some Dorian, uh, M and M's, but little Sarah's figured out where these, these are. And I have like very few left <laughs> every morning. She's over here munching on my M and M's. Oh, uh, it's 31, David Vera. Oh, you adding up your math? Let's see. 73, 83, 93. Yeah, I guess I was. I was 31. I feel 21. Okay, what else is cooking? All right, shutters. Heck, I don't know. I wouldn't be stressing. If I was anybody right now, I wouldn't be worried about anything. I'd be worried about your weekend plans in Florida. 
Put it that way. I, I had somebody email me already, and I started looking. Looks like I-4 South is going to start getting rain Saturday morning into Saturday mid-morning. South Florida is going to start getting the rains Friday afternoon, Friday night. I got a Florida radar map here we can take a look at. Let's see if anything's showing up yet on radar. There's that flow. You can already see the flow coming in west to, or uh, east to west. There's our flow. All this is coming up. So that'll be the flow getting stronger through through the through the week. And again, the UK model shows this thing going a little more north. So I think the fan is large. I'm surprised that the NHC has such a cone that's so showing the golf here. Most of the models are honing in on upper golf panhandle. Yesterday, the Euro did show Texas. So we'll watch that. But you can see this general flow, the flow across the Atlantic. And this little guy right here, this could be the one we watch. I don't know. Starting to get that feeling. Peak of season, you know. Models are very consistent. You know, again, looking at top, you know, topical tidbits here. The Euro has been very solid on this. This is next Monday right here. And there's there's inching closer, deepening pressure, 978. That shows strengthening. Um, you know, yesterday's run over, uh, two, t you know, here's Tuesday yesterday. High pressure to the north pretty much is telling you that it's going to continue on that west northwest movement um, until it can reach this front. Again, the, the timing of these things is so hard to predict, let alone three or four days out, let alone 10 days out. So the, the main focus here, I guess, would be the fact that we're in September and uh, these fronts are rare. So these things have a uh, more of a chance to come across, you know, and make land impact. But this is last night's 12Z, yesterday's Tuesday overnight run right here. So, I mean, you can see the consistency. Tuesday night. This is Tuesday night. Let's see what Tuesday afternoon was. All right, there's Tuesday afternoon. Then Tuesday night, a little farther south. Uh, yesterday's afternoon run, a little more north. And then last night's overnight run, right smack dab in the middle. So, you know, it's really consistent. Really consistent. Uh, what else is cooking? Yeah, the Bahamas. We, man, I don't. I keep seeing videos on, on some of those areas and I can't, I mean, houses are obviously blown away. There's, there's one picture of a house that actually blew off and it's on its side. I don't, I mean, it's unbelievable. I, I don't even know. I have no idea how, what they, where do they, where do you even begin? I mean, Panhandle still ha, ha, is dealing with Michael. I got, like I showed you, we, uh, I have producers that sent to me um, this video. If you want to see it, it's on Vimeo, V-I-M-E-O. It's called Blue Tarp, Six Months After Hurricane Michael. They're doing a movie. Um, and it's, it's a documentary, but it's called uh, Blue Tarps. And the whole theme of the movie is how Panhandle still going through... Um, hurricane recovery so that just got posted like a week ago a week or two ago so if you want to look at it it's called blue tarps producers email that to me so i share it for them um let's see jennifer i think over over time the euros when the when the euro gets consistent is when i get when i get a little more interested because you know we saw with dorian euro was bouncing around everybody was bouncing around this, we're seeing consistency with this uh, flow across the Bermuda High here, and uh, you know here here's the 500 millibar levels, strong high pressure system here. There's a little trough coming down, a little front. I'm, I I don't want to turn into a weather guy. I did not know a trough was a front a couple years ago. I had to Google it. Don't tell anybody. A trough is a front, <laughs> and a ridge of high pressure is the Bermuda High. That makes life easy. Um. But this is the general flow here. You know, we got a big high pressure, and uh, you know, this is the Euro ten days out. One run of many. No, no, uh, no guarantees at this point. That's for sure. H wharf. Hey, the H wharf model. I don't think they run yet. Well, actually, it does on. Um, it's more of a hurricane specific model, but we can look at invest. 
95. Oh, that's the wrong one. I don't, know, do they, I don't think they do invest. There's 94. It hasn't even run yet for um, 95. Yeah, they usually don't run it. I don't know. It's weird. Here's, here's the invest on 94, but it's not showing anything. You know, Mesoscale scale models are kind of cool. We can look at um, rains. Let's take a look at southeast. See what the 3KM uh, NAM models. So well, that's too far out yet. So this is running right now, actually. So let's see. This is the NAM model. It's only run 60 hours out. High resolution radar. So the NAM saying tomorrow morning, at, uh, after mid morning, our system is going to be right here, south. Florida over the Bahamas, 1,007 millibar. Nothing to stress about. That's the theme of it right now. It's 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 to me. I you know no models yet have shown this thing stronger than a tropical storm. So that's good. Snow, Donna. I don't know. <laughs> snow. What's snow, man? I don't know. Um. Lulu. Yes, Puerto Rico. I'd definitely be watching this far wave right here. Timing for Puerto Rico would be next Monday. Could be a developing system by Monday. Rip currents. Yeah, let's talk about rip currents. <laughs> um, never go swimming in a hurricane unless you're Jimmy Buffett. I can't play the music. I'll get flagged. I'm so afraid now to play anything. Yeah, the Bahamas do not need anything. No doubt. And this thing, unfortunately, there's going to be model runs that take it over Bahamas. There's going to be model runs that show... This thing hitting Florida, and, and there's a lot of panic right now. And, uh, you know, I, I think it's important during my lives we show it. And it's cool for you guys to post on our page. I and mean, I didn't mean that yesterday to come across wrong. But there are other weather sites that, that would post the image, and then that gets shared all across the Internet, and it gets people worried. You know, our page, you can put whatever y'all want. You can put nude pics on. I don't care. <laughs> Just make sure they're good nude pics, not bad nude pics. No guy nude pics. Well, maybe the girls would like that. I don't know. <laughs> maybe we have more girls on Facebook. That was probably not appropriate. <laughs> but they can, you know. Uh, hey, listen, both X's, Melissa. No, it's very odd. But, you know, we were showing these models. This first X is Invest 94. And there's sh heavy shear right here in the Caribbean. And it's expected to hit that wall of shear and pretty much dissipate before the islands. The shears are supposed to relax. Part of that shear is tied into this front that is producing this so this heavy shear is going to relax this system catches up and basically merges with Invex, Invest 94 and uh, that's the one to watch so Invest 94 is that first X this is this one's not even an Invest yet so there's no spaghetti models other than like your European stuff that we showed and let's take a look at the shear map and there's your shear right here heavy duty shear but that's expected to weaken. You know, we look at our dust map. I added added that to the uh, app, by the way, because I got a great idea to add this in the precipital water. This is your precipital water map. This is the amount of moisture in the atmosphere. And we look at spinach. And you can see here, very little spinach on uh, Invest 95. That's good news. A little bit of spinach here, Invest 94. But it's got dry air and shear. And then here's our new system that's not even really showed up yet. But there is a little bit right here. But this is going to take time. And then the dust map. Pretty much gone. Here's your dust map. The dust map gets very light in September. Remember, if we watch early in the season, you can see a lot of oranges and yellows. Well, right now, there's very little dust dry air it's a combination of dry air and dust but very little all right what else is cool bingo yeah popeye spinach yeah we get i guess we can get back to our bingo game a couple words i have i gotta keep a, a cheat sheet here um hey we could, I, I know one word on there is the rays right how about them rays man coming back austin meadows with a home run last night i was starting to think they were gonna lose it man and they got they got some pitchers man they're kicking it uh, hey, John, the high, 10 days out. It's tough, you know. Um, I just see this general flow following, you know, this. When you see Invest 95 
following that flow and then this system you just you just get that feeling that both systems are going to kind of take the same path get the feeling uh oh ticks me off what's that laura what's up what ocean water temps yes very hot very 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 hot water anomalies are these this one and you can still see where dorian was this is really fascinating this is your snapshot of your sea surface temperatures dorian sat over top of the atlantic for so long it upwelled all this cold water from deep below the surface and it's being picked up by satellite so that's cool water it'll it'll unfortunately warm quick but here's your middle atlantic hotter than normal everything's pretty much hotter than normal except for that little spot dorian was at that should uh warm up by the time this gets going over here unfortunately we, we saw hurricanes in the past follow other storms and actually if we had a system right here to worry about then this would help choke it uh it, it's probably not going to affect invest 95 because invest 95 is not even a system right now it's just a clump of clouds just a clump uh what other water map can we look at um this is a cool one map is here this is a detailed water map this is your snapshot from nasa you can see a little bit of upwelling here on the sea service temp uh luann rain for tampa yeah i'm afraid you know we got softball this weekend but it looks like we got rain coming let's take a look at some rain maps we got we'll look at two different ones i just since we have so many people in florida here's what to expect we'll look at obviously euro and gfs and then Go smack dab down the middle. Here's your um, look at 24 hour rain precipitation. So this is your timing of rain. I believe it. This is looking into boom right here. All right, so boom right here. This is third. This is Friday morning or Thursday night actually. We can start to see a, a trickle of rain on the uh, coming in off of the Atlantic. Nothing heavy, but you're going to start feeling that east to west flow. That we're seeing push invest 95 here's friday morning a little heavier concentration blowing in on the east coast here's friday uh afternoon friday night still hasn't reached uh central florida yet but then we get into saturday that's 7 a.m we got we whoops saturday 7 a.m right here we're starting to see some big pockets of rain now coming up through the state this is saturday new um noon time right here and there, there's heavy, you know, heavy rains, four or five inches of rain, possibly wherever this thing decides to set up and that's coming across the state of Florida. And here's Sunday. Unfortunately, there's Sunday overnight, heavy pockets of rain, Tampa, central Florida. And then as we get into Monday morning right here, and then there you go. So kind of got the idea. It's the attack of the blob. Uh, GFS, yes, Casey, I'll show you that. But again, the Euro Saint Law North means it's going to have very little time over water. The Almighty Euro is not really predicting a storm out of this. But it, you know, a little bit farther west, then yeah, it's going to have time. But it doesn't have time. You need, you need days. If this thing was to fester into a hurricane, it would need a couple days over water. And it doesn't have that yet. So that's good news. Things can change, yes, but as of now. All right, here, here's your GFS rain map. We're going to look into Thursday night. This is Thursday night. A little bit of trickle rains on the east coast. Here's Friday morning. East coast rains coming in off of the coast. Uh, here's Friday night. Light rains, nothing to stress about. And then the heavy stuff hits right here. This is Saturday morning, 7 a.m., same as Euro. Rain start to invade the coast. Here's midday rains, Saturday midday rains, Central Florida, you know, peninsula pretty much. And then heavy concentration Saturday night over Tampa, Saturday night. And then there's our rains pushing up, you know, the GFS is staying a little farther west, Mobile, Alabama. And that's for Sunday, Monday. So there you go. Not a washout. I think if you, if you had anything planned on Saturday, I would try to do it Saturday morning, Saturday early noon. Okay, what else is cool? What are you guys doing? Windy. Yeah, it's going to be windy. Yeah, we, it's going to be windy. You're going to have strong flow of winds coming off the Atlantic. 
no doubt. You guys just got beat up with Dorian, and now you're going to have uh, more more squally, wavy weather coming in off of the Atlantic. Um, South Carolina Thursday? Hey, Patricia, I don't know that one. That's a long way away. Whoo, Tina. Yeah, I don't know. You're gonna have a you're gonna have a day of rain. Looks like your rain's gonna come in Saturday afternoon, Sunday. So, up, oh, Louie. Yeah, Louie's over here snoring. Yes, Loretta Lee Reed. Yeah, I did put my little picture up here. We don't want to. I have a little video I was gonna play at the end too, but it is 9/11, and uh, I'll never forget where I was. That was a day of remembrance. We have family in Somerset, Pennsylvania, and that was very odd just to be watching the Twin Towers and then all of a sudden you hear a plane crash, you know, in Somerset. I was blown away by that because little old Somerset, my aunt. But yeah, that was a terrible day for America, but it's good to see all the posts online, people posting, and that's good. A lot, a lot of... Photos being shared. That's good. So hopefully they talk about it in schools today. I'll find out from Emily. Yeah, yeah, so. There's my picture. I always liked this one because it showed all the areas that were affected. Cool, alright, well there you go. What else is going on? Um... Louis just farted, by the way. If you heard that, I've noticed with my lives, you can you can hear a lot, so you might have just heard that. Um, hey, British Virgin Islands, yes, you guys have a potential developing system that'll be nearing you next Monday. That's not exact. When I say Monday, I say Monday-ish. Doesn't appear to be strengthening by then, so I, you know, it looks like this thing is going to have to get developed past the Lesser Antilles Islands. Brian, um, long range steering currents. I mean, the only thing I usually do, I love, again, Levi Sight, because I, and you, you basically can, do, you can look at 500 millibar, it's kind of your middle. You can get an, you can get a good idea where the high pressure is setting up is one way. There's other ways he shows, which are pretty, um, even more in depth. <laughs> I, I just still use the old 500 millibar, but you can look ahead. This is the GFS. Well, let's look at the Euro because it's been a little more consistent. Um, here's that little front. Let's see here. Here's the Euro starting to develop our system right here. Here's our little guy coming across. So right now it's hard to see. Yes, but next Saturday, Sunday, our little guy is going to be right here. Big high pressure. See that? This low is not dipped down far enough to pick it up. So chances of recurve are very slim. High pressure to the north. The colors make it great. That kind of shows you um, the boundaries. And then as our system gets into the islands here, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, next week, it's all timing with this high. So you can look at these long-range models and see. You know, here's a little break right here. You know, originally a couple days ago, the GFS was showing this timing of the system maybe a little farther south, this a little bit slower. That would that would enable this would help pick our system northward. But according to the long range euro, this has slid over too much to the east, high pressure is built in, and there now there's a block. And again, this system slows down, there's a weakness, this thing could go north. That's why it's so hard to predict long term. But looking ahead, you can see uh, you know high pressure building ahead which would block any movement to the um so this is 10 days out you know 11 days likely would just continue on this this trend you know and, and if we watch the progression of invest 95 almost the same pattern here's a huge high pressure there's invest 95 follows the bermuda high there's our next system you can kind of see it right here um Question will be when it starts to pull north, are we going to have a weakness up enough to pull it to a recurve or not? It'll all come down to that. So, yeah, Donna, it's a big foot. Hey, what's this look like? I feel like going to eat some wings. <laughs> um, yes, Whitney, you're correct. 
you got that right. There's a front. There's always a front. Always fronts pick these things up. Um, yes. Okay, you guys are telling stories. You know, I had a friend that called. Well, actually, the the news. The, I used to wake up to an alarm clock radio, and uh, they were talking about a you know plane and and uh, it, I, it's like it was yesterday. I just couldn't believe it. Um. So there you go. Uh, let's see. And the hits keep coming. Yep. Oh, there's my wife. And she just got Louie to wake up. Come here, Louie. I got to show Louie. Did you bring your coffee? Huh? Oh. All right. So what else? Uh, Louisiana. Yes. Uh, there's a chance. Well, Upper Gulf Coast. All right. Let's do everything in a nutshell. I forgot we had to go somewhere. It's already 10.05. I can talk all day. What happened to her pants? Oh, and we got a stain on her pants. <laughs> and if you have a 13-year-old daughter now that worries about her looks, the whole world ends with a stain on her pants. <laughs> I guess we spoil her to death. Well, you know, the, the kids, all right? So you spend, what, $100 on jeans that have holes, right? <laughs> See, they go every, every, every school day picture this year, first day of school, every kid had holes in their jeans. That's the fad, right? But now, oh my God, you get a stain on your pants, the whole world ends. You got to go, you got to get new pants. <laughs> go figure. And they went to Chick-fil-A, so it's probably like yellow. It's probably uh, Chick-fil-A sauce. It ain't even ketchup. Come here, Louie. Man, he's running around not knowing. All right, say, hey, Lori, yeah, she's cool. She loves She loves what I do. Forecast for the Dolphins game in Miami Sunday. Oh, Joe, I think it might be slowly clearing out by then, hopefully. Um... So, hey, all right, well, there you go. Lots to watch. Um, you know, nothing to worry about. Just rain this weekend. It looks like, you know, the only thing that's going to get people worked up, obviously, the NHC has 60% chance now, which is kind of high. 60% chance for a tropical depression. That's, that's the tricky thing is when you see these percentages. It's not, you know, that's formation of a tropical depression. It's not a hurricane. So it still looks scary, but... At this point, the only time I would be, the only thing that would be scary is if it goes south of Florida, somehow got into the upper Gulf and had a day or two extra to get into Texas, Louisiana. But most of your spaghetti malls, the newest one just came out. Here's your 12Z. These probably just got posted on Levi's site. Let's see if they're out yet. Nope, 6Z. Oh, I wonder why they haven't, they haven't updated them yet. Hmm. But there you go. There's general flow. So. All right, cool. What else is cooking? Disney, yeah, it'll be a little wet. Hey, the best thing, Christine, about Disney World when it rains is, is A, it keeps it cool. And uh, the rides are pretty much all indoors. So you can, you know, just bring ponchos. Don't buy ponchos there. You have to, I, I think you can put a second mortgage on your house if you have to buy ponchos at Disney. <laughs> all right, cool. Um, let's see what else. Right, I'll tell you some questions here real quick if I can go. Yeah, 50, yeah, Michelle. Yeah, I just embarrassed her. She knew that. <laughs> um, hey, happy birthday, Jean. Pensacola, yes. You're going to get rain, Lisa. You're going to get rains um, likely Sunday. Maybe late Saturday night, but definitely Sunday. Thank you, Joe. Panama City Beach. Your Saturday's good, Debbie. Yeah, I know. They're ten bucks, Margie. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're ready. We're ready for the next one. Again, you know, I don't mean to take away anything from Dorian. It was devastating to the Bahamas, and um, you know, those folks down there got to deal with this for many, many years to come. But we got a, you know, we got tropics, and now we got something else brewing. So anything heading to the Keys, Stephanie? You just rain. Nothing. Nothing to stress about yet. Down the road, we could have something. Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, William, you're right, William. You know, think about Michael. It was October last year. I mean, um, Laura, there, you, anybody, I can draw a map from Texas to Maine. Everybody would have an equal chance of getting uh, this wave off of Africa right now. The trend is through the Caribbean, with a slow curve up. 
that would put obviously Florida at risk, possibly going into the Gulf. I mean, you know, we're talking small degrees, but uh, this thing could cross all the all land, go across, you know, Hispaniola and get tore apart. So, so there you go. All right, let's do Louie. Here's Louie. Louie's got a little bed. I put his little bed next to me so he can sleep. He, get, he used to get jealous when I um, did these things. So he's, he's our official dog of Mike's weather page. Um, he's a good boy. Right? You good boy, Louie? He just chills. He just sits there. He's like a robot. <laughs> he's like, what are you doing, Dad? Right? <laughs> He'll sit here all day. And this is a product of Emily getting straight A's two years ago. We told her she could pick any dog she wanted, so she wanted a French Bulldog. And I didn't know they cost so damn much. But he's a good boy. Look at him. Oh, Louie, Louie, Louie. He'll probably fall asleep. Look at him. <laughs> he does not do drugs. Sometimes it looks like it. All right. That's cool. All right, well, listen. Hey, I gotta uh, get going. We got work to do. Actually, I had many things on the plate. I'll uh, upload this to YouTube now. Actually, our YouTube channel. This is crazy. I don't know why I never did this before. Um, YouTube had thirteen hundred eighty-one views yesterday. That's crazy. A lot of thanks on YouTube. I didn't realize we had a lot of fans that weren't on Facebook. So. Um, that's cool. So I'll upload it. I had 2,800 views on Monday. So anyway, it'll be uploaded. And uh, we'll watch this. All right, so what, what do you got to worry about? Right now, nothing. We have rains for the Bahamas into Florida. Slight chance of development in the Gulf. This first little X is going to fizzle out. And really, long term, we're watching this guy. That's it. So nothing to worry about. Right? Right. All right, cool. Hey, listen, we'll do it again tomorrow. Same time, same place. Spread the word. I'm the best me media all meaty media allergist there is. <laughs> and uh yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I gotta figure out all these little gadgets. Instagram, I am on Instagram, but I don't know what I'm doing on Instagram yet. I'm trying to learn everything. Peace out, Whitney. Yeah, you got it. And guess what? Julie is mailing the koozies. I had to buy, I, I screwed up and bought small envelopes and they didn't work. So we had to buy new envelopes. Well, then I got tricky and bought blue envelopes. Well, you can't see the writing. So now Julie's got to go to Staples and get white uh, stickers. So that's her job today. She's going to envelope them. <laughs> that was our koozie free giveaway that I can't do anymore because we, we, I had to order more koozies. Mediaologist, yes. Colt, cool, we'll do it. Remember, I'm not official. Don't believe anything I say. <laughs> I got to start saying that. Everybody's hot and heavy on uh, online meteorologists now. But hey, I've been doing this since, what, 2004. So I, I have a right to be a blogger. Cool. All right, hey, we'll see you all tomorrow. I'll be, I'll be posting all day. We got model runs coming out at noon. It'll be real, real important to watch. The Euro will be coming out. Um, so we'll be watching close. A lot of, a lot of things, a lot of things out there to keep our eye on, but nothing to stress about. Right. So have a good Wednesday and, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. If tomorrow never comes, Garth Brooks, it will come unless we get hit by a meteor. <laughs> if we do, I love you. But Emily will have clean pants at least. Hey, Bonnie, what's up old school teacher? We miss you. Sarah misses you. Yes, we do remember 9-11, Carolyn. Yes, I have my little picture on the page. and Oh, I did want to end it right here. I'm glad you mentioned that because I had a YouTube video. This is how we'll end it, then I'll hit end. This is um, our Budweiser commercial. I always love to watch. So we'll leave it with this, and then I'll hit the end button. See ya.
course, I got music playing. What the hell? YouTube already screwed me up. All right, we're going to try this again. Thanks to YouTube, it was playing. All right, let's get back to our video. Here we go. YouTube Obo played. All right, so here we go. This is our Budweiser Clydesdale tri tribute to 9 11. <laughs> 